Hey everybody, welcome back, and let us continue with more Fallout 3. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was 10. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Okay. What are you two best friends? Talk to the I overseer hope you here. the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. You did a great job, but couldn't you have helped out a bit more? Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Eh, let's go with this one. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Hostile. And now, hey, Chloe, I Happy think Paul's birthday. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What do you have to Such say? a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. On some nice. session, everyone, it's time yeah, to oh. cut the cake. Okay, before he does that, so we can open up our pit boy and the first part, which is status, that shows us like our condition, rad, and um, status effects. So we, here you can see that we have limbs, and our limbs do take damage. And if we take enough damage, we get crippled. So if you get head like crippled in the head, your vision gets blurry, arms, you can't like really shoot well and reload as good. Chest, I'm not sure what happens in the chest, but in the legs, you can't walk so well. And you know, there's radiation, which, you know, it's not too, too bad right now. And then status effects. And then you got your, oop, then you got your special. So as you can see what we have, skills, these are our skill points, uh, perks, and general. So the stuff that we've done in the world. And then we got items, apparel, aid. So here is a magazine. So by reading this, melee, melee weapons increase by one. So we get magazines and books that will increase our skills by at least one, depending on what we get. And then we're going to eat this for a special outcome. Miscellaneous and then ammo, and then you got data. You know, you got your radio. Map, local map, quest, notes, radio. Okay. Bye bye, Kate. <laughs> I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady you guys... Palmer. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt right there. Do you guys see uh, somebody glitching into the couch? Because I surely do. Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share since it's my birthday. You do look hungry. <laughs> what? Your mom drank up all the ration coupons, coupons again? I threw it away, but you're welcome to eat it off the floor if you want. Mmm, it sure was good when I ate it a few minutes ago. So, let's go with that. What? Dang, I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. Stay out of my way, you got it? No. Uh, Butch is a boy. Know, you always have good ideas. I yeah, I got one. The Mackers. They're super cool, right? Jeez, Wally, who's the head of the gang? You or me? No way. Are you having a nice time? Let's talk to uh, Stanley. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? Really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Uh, sure, whatever. Did you bring me anything for my birthday? Yawn. That's really, really interesting. Oh. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. A kid's baseball cap. Nice. What'd Butch want? I thought you were in trouble there for a second. Nothing, just wish me a happy birthday. He wanted my sweet roll, but I told him off. The jerk tried to steal my sweet roll. Don't worry about me, I'm not scared of him. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. that's, that's funny. 
How's it going? Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. I know you go. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. What a jerk. I'm sure everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday boy. Thanks for inviting me to your party. Yep. Happy birthday, Sonny. So that's Officer Gomez. So if we wouldn't have eaten that sweet roll and Butch would have given us a hard time, you could talk to him and he says some pretty ignorant things about Butch and his mom. Thanks. I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Okay. Hello. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and Amanda threw me a great party, didn't they? I'm not a girl. Uh, okay. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you, I'll always treasure it. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I expect course. everything. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Tell you the truth, I would hate getting gifts while I was in a vault. Because there's, I don't think there's very much for them to really show. Whoops. Yeah. Can't lock pick a door. It's very hard. <laughs> you need a hundred to pick that lock. Whoops. Hello. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm 10 years old. Janet Jones, where's my surprise present already? Oh, but Dad told me it was okay for me to come down here. Oh, technically, now that I got a pit boy, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> you sure are. Pit boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Oh, a surprise? Kind of surprise. Hello, Daddy. Are you ready for your surprise? Kind of surprise. The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, nice. what do you think? Want to give it a try? Here, we can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Okay. So uh, this is an introduction to where we actually learn how to shoot. And I gotta tell you, the shooting in this game was actually pretty cool. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is so great, thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. So I'm not gonna keep reading each single dialogue just because it kind of gets a little bit redundant at times. So, primed our gun. And yeah, that is our crosshair. And if we aim down sights, that is what we do. So, phew. And hit fire. I missed. Careful, Go. it's a rat roach. Think you can take care of I keep getting my buttons mixed up. Uh welcome welcome to the Volt Tech Assisted Targeting System or VAT. So this is our VAT system. This allows us for concentrated shots. And what that means is as you can see, I have 
a 50% chance to hit the head, um, 4% to hit the leg, 95% hit that leg, and um, I can hit the torso, 50%. Uh, so usually you want to go with a higher percentage, but for the sake, I'm going to try to hit in the head. And as you can see, my AP over there um, goes down quite a bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. And then accept. Yeah, as you can see, my aim is off. There you go. One point or oh, one XP for hitting it in the head. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. So it's gonna kind of take me a bit to Smile. a bit to get uh, my controls down, just because I'm so used to Different the other pull-out pull uh, controllers. I'm the overseer's daughter. So what? That like I get any kind of special Tell me. Revelation twenty-one six. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Oh, the GOAT. Uh, if you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Who likes taking tests anyway? <laughs> but I'm really sick. Uh, anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We're born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Okay. That sounds kind of awkward. Do we have to tie in the Vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Oh. Uh, is it true? Er everyone is born in the vault? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Hmm. Can we talk about Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll have to take it a little bit serious. Future and perfect. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck. Okay. So I'm going to stop it here for right now, and then when we get back, we'll take our exam and go from there. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Thank you.